Hey, we started up again. A wild silence appeared, and to make a correction, I, I was, I, I was foolish. I guess they have been trying to film to, uh, that the uh, Matt and Pat had did try to film together that whole end of uh, the whole Star Trek the game, but I don't know. To me, that rings old. But apparently, the last one that they they made was like a week ago, so. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't seem like they are doing much of anything anymore towards the end of me, at least, but... Eh, life goes on. Carry on. No, no, no. Well, alright, let's get started with the next bit. Get, get started right here, right now. Alright, the first one we are looking at... The Metal! Metal! Da -da 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 -da. That, that, was a, that was a reference. Um... So, first on the list is Alolan Sandshrew, Sandslash, Alolan Diglett, and Doug Trio. First on Alolan Sandshrew. I love it. I love the igloo aesthetic. That is just such a charming, like, feature that I wouldn't have thought of. That I just feel like is icing on the cake on this little guy. He's so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, it's adorable, and the shiny form, it's like his body is also blue, so it's really neat. It's overall a really great aesthetic choice. And the typing is fairly unusual. It makes fire types hurt like a bitch is the one, is the one issue. With it, sand slash with the, with the spikes, with the icicles on the back, and that's, that's even better. And with the hooked claws, it actually like implies that, you know, those are like ice picks, so he can actually like maintain balance on ice. It's such an it. It's also such a neat aesthetic. Once again, the only issue is the fire types. They ain't nothing to fuck with when it comes to that. As for the Diglett, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I I could go without it. As for the Alolan Doug Trio. I'm going to be the unpopular vote here. I'm aware of it. And if you enjoy it, I respect your opinion. I'm not a fan. Uh, I don't get this mood that that they ha that Nintendo has been been uh, in since at least Gen 7 with the Mega Evolutions where they're just adding more hair onto things. Like, you know, with the Ampharos, um, the Absol, um, etc. Now the dig, and now the Doug Chio's getting the big hair treatment. It's so outlandish, and I don't see how it gives them steel. Uh, it's it's not my thing. Once again, I know that's a big disagree from a lot of people, but you know, I I I don't get it, man. I don't get it. And you know, the aesthetic of it isn't all that great. I'm not a big fan of the... I don't know, the blonde hair... Uh, why? <laughs> to be blunt, why? I... I don't know, man. Anyway, Magnemite and Magneton. I always thought these guys were creepy. And I probably... And I'm just going to assume that's because they're presented that way in the anime. Like, to me... Magnemite and Magnetron, Magnetron, Magneton is, um, I don't know, they, they, they were weird at first. I do like how soon they, they get Sonic Boom, which makes them easier to, uh, to, to, uh, to train. It gives them an advantage in battle that I can appreciate. Um, you know, they, they're certainly original, I can give them that. I like them a lot as far as originality goes, like the screws, the magnets. It's a very interesting idea. And then we jump all the way ahead to second gen, because for some reason they don't count. Okay, here's a question. Why are... Oh! Oh! Oh, look, who, look at the screen. Look who's evolving right now. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, Silas, pay attention. Pay attention. Hit the button. Da -da -da -da. Wow, past Silas sucks. Oh, there you go. Good job, idiot. Uh, I should have corrected that, but... Uh, I don't mind, because, you know, we're getting the new Hallelujah! 
Did I spell Halloween right? Yeah, I did. It's the it's the set, it's the third L that's distracting me. Toga Tick! Hey, it looks so it looks it looks confused. <laughs> hey, what the fuck happened? That's not how evolution works. Okay, but why is Voltorb and Electro Elect Elect Electrode? Why is Voltorb and Electrode just like Why aren't they steel? They're clearly a metal of some kind. You're willing to give the steel treatment to Magneton, but not Electrode? Whatever, assholes. Um, <laughs> Fortress. Yeah, we're jumping all the way to Fortress, the evolution of, uh, of Pineco. And I think I've I think I've expressed how weird. Uh, how weird Fortress is to me. It, it's certainly neat and inventive. I don't like the eyes. The eyes just stare into abyss. Uh, they... The shiny form, like I said before, is very interesting. Plain, but it's unique. It's unique in its plainness. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's it's, uh, it, it's a singular... It's a singular color from a whole bunch of other colors, which is so unusual comparatively to the others. So, yeah, I stick by what I said. Unusual in its plainness. All right, let's go with Johnny's favorite Pokemon, even though I'm not sure, quite sure why, Steelix. I mean, it's a cool Pokemon. I don't like that when it opens its mouth, it, its teeth just, their, its teeth become like zigzag, if that makes any sense. Like they become, it, its teeth are like checker, uh, like chess, chess, like a chess board, checkerboard, a, Lu a Luigi board. <laughs> um, I like the fact that the shiny is gold. That is a nice touch. That's a hundred percent nice freaking touch on the Steelix. But yeah, other than, I mean, of course, the defense is probably the greatest defense of anything except for when you get to Mega Steelix that's just gold. GOLD! Um... Mega Steelix I find... Oh. Uh oh! <laughs> the Dexter app, um... It just... It, it repeats a gif, so... Like, eventually the spiraling, um... The spiraling, uh, plates around... Uh, around, um... Mega Steelix's body just sort of reset from their initial points, and you know, like like I said, yeah, I think that while it's cool, I just feel like its mouth is an issue. Um, I think that is really my only complaint. I do wish there was like a there was like a Crystal Onyx evolution of Mega Steelix. You know, we want Crystal Onyx back. You know, Johnny wants Crystal Onyx more than I want, um, than I want, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Pink Island. And I want the Pink Island so badly. For the memes, probably. <laughs> Just, <laughs> hi, I'm James, and I'm, and we're in the pink. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, how'd they get away with that? All right, Caesar. I've already talked about Caesar in my bug review. What's the difference? Oh, I see the difference between the male and female. Their butts are, are a different size. The female has a bigger butt. Hmm. Let's think about that. And you know what? A second thought? Let's not. Um, and I've talked about Mega Caesar. Um, Skarmory is a Pokemon that is underwhelming in terms of stats, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. I expected it to be like a jet, like it, it, it's, I think the initial intention was to make it look like, like a bird jet. And it's surprisingly slow despite that. Its special attack is, is subpar to say the least. It's got a very decent defense, but other than that, there isn't much special to it. Like, I remember just struggling when I first saw it. I was like, hey, that's cool. Oh, hey, it fucking sucks in battle. 
I, I, and, you know, I'm surprised they haven't done a Mega Skarmory, or, or Skarmory hasn't had an evolution, because I feel like it can go places. Uh, Mawile. Mawile. Uh, it's a nice, um... Okay, this Pokemon is supposedly fucking broken after 7th Gen, with the introduction of furry type Furry types. <laughs> Etc. But... In all honesty, other than the Venus fl flytrap, it doesn't really speak... It looks like it's supposed to be like an offshoot of um, Hariyama. Like maybe Hariyama could have evolved uh, could have evolved from that, but in the end it's... I don't get its body, if I'm gonna be honest. Same goes for Mega Mopwile. And Mega Mopwile, while it's while, um, it's... While it has got, it, it, here's the evolution idea. It has two Venus fly traps. Woo! I'm sorry if you like Mega Mawile, good for you, but miss me with it. I, I forget it exists. Up until somebody bodied me hard with a Mawile, I kept forgetting about it. Now, as for Agron and its series. I love them to death, even though they're full of, full of holes. Um, I think I talked about them with, with, uh, rock types. I probably did, yeah. I don't get, I don't get how they're part rock type. It seems to me like they'd strictly be steel, but, uh, yeah, no. Like, it quadruples the damage against fighting types while also, you know, neutralizing fire, so it's a bittersweet exchange. And then Mega Aglon is pure steel, which I don't understand what, if that's an upgrade or not. It, it, and wow, okay, never mind. This thing has, it has on par defense with, uh, with Mega Steelix, so. You know what, I'm gonna be honest, I forget Mega Aglon exists. I'm so accustomed to Aglon. I like the I, I like the style of Agron much better than Mega Agron. Mega Agron looks like it has trouble moving at all. <laughs> and yeah, I know it's not supposed to be speed a speedy mon, but you know I'd expect. Once again, I reiterate the fact that you know they should have some consistency when they evolve and not keep their core weaknesses or at least improve on them a little bit. That's just me. Now let's go with Beldum. Beldum, that one Pokemon that I managed to get off of free trade, the shiny one. I forget. I forgot how that went down. I think it was like a special event mon. And I love shiny Mega Me Metagross. And these these Pokemon, I do like. I, I like them a lot. I feel like they are a tad overrated when it comes to at least the uh, the. Uh, series as a whole, kind of like, I think Lucario's overrated, but I can appreciate them. I did use the Metagross during my first Gen 3 playthrough, or at least, actually no, I think it was my first uh, uh, Emerald playthrough, and he did me nice, he did me good. And Mega, Mega Metagross, there are a lot of Megas in Gen 3, come to think of it. Um, yeah, it's a menace. It's menacing. I keep expecting it to 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 go higher and higher until it becomes a mech. Then we'll talk. Then we'll have some serious discussions about it being in some of my tops. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Reggies. I think I already said about the Reggies. They're weird. Jirachi. Jirachi's fucking adorable. I haven't seen the. The, vi the movie of him or anything. I remember seeing lots of ads for it, though. And Jirachi looks... I mean, there is, of course, always a Mew replacement at, like, pretty much every generation. And Jirachi, I feel, is a good choice. Yeah, it's psychic, but pretty much all of them are psychic. And uh, I, don't, I don't fully understand why it's steel. That's my core issue here. I'm surprised that I saw it. <laughs> I'm surprised that it's in this list, but, you know, I'm not gonna hate on Jirachi, Mr. Wishmaker. Um, Empoleon, probably my favorite starter. 
The only reason why it's not in my mains is because I don't care that much for birds. There's that, and it's shiny, it's kind of, eh, it's just a lighter shade of blue. And well, that's fine, but like I said, if I wasn't, if I was a bird person, if I was, if I did not love dogs as much as I do, and I love dogs, they're so adorable and happy, and they'll, and they'll love you forever. They'll love you no matter how horrible of a person you are, because Lord knows I'm a horrible person. <laughs> um... Yeah, I love Empoleon. Empoleon's a cool boy. Um, Shieldon, Bastiodon, we already discussed those ones. Wormadam already. Bronzong and Bronzor. Fucking weirdos, once again. I, For whatever reason, I think that... I keep thinking that Bronzor is a legendary. Um, Bronzong's a weird weirdo. That's all I can say about him, really. And Bronzor, we already have encountered plenty of Bronzors here. And Bronzor, eh. Bronzor, he looks happy, that's the important thing. Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys later. We'll, we'll encounter this bitch later. Stay wild. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow.